Hi everyone, I'm Ariel, and today we're going to be looking at the Schmuck Squad's Goblin Slayer Abridged Episode 5. I actually haven't seen Goblin Slayer because for some reason I just never got into it. But I love the abridged takes on it, mostly because the accents are absolutely over the top in this one for the actual main character. It's a very <clears throat> ban-ified characterization. Or is it bonafide? Actually, bonafide actually makes sense as a pun. I just missed a chance for a pun. An actual good one. And now I'm disappointed in myself. Not not because I made a pun, but because I actually missed the chance to make an even better one. Yeah. And that's something I just have to live with now. You guys know the drill. There's a link to the original video down below. Make sure to hit it up, because the Schmuck Squad and Grim Jack, whose channel it's hosted on, did a great job on this one. Do I know if they've done that in advance? Okay, no, I can't, because I haven't seen it yet. Do I make that assumption? Yes. Do assumptions make an ass of myself? No, because I'm already an asshole. That's kind of just established. Also, if you like this kind of me doing me things, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Yes, I know my great diction of word is exactly why people subscribe to this channel. God, I'm hyped on coffee today, and I have no complaints about that. <laughs> Let's get started. So we're starting with snow. Who else needs to die before you learn? They took your family. They took your world. How will you make them pay? Oh, flashback. What will you take from them? Wait, do we get to hear his voice without the growly <laughs> stuff? <laughs> there it is. I can get something out of you. Useless boy. Silent for days. But hitting, hitting works. A sword is just a useless lump of rock. Who's speaking? Until it is struck. You want to save the world? Also, it's so weird you want seeing to his get face. Revenge? Then strike! <laughs> See? You weren't expecting a rock in there, Ooh. weren't you? Oh! I wanted to change your face, so I struck it. What a lovely shade of red. Is that a person oh, or a is goblin? Baby sad. Does baby want his sister? <gasps> well, your sister's dead. Weak and precious things die when they're not protected. Do you want to hear a joke? What happened? When a band of goblins invades a village filled with unprepared, is that thing a person? Weak farmers with shoddy defenses, flammable housing, and a single uninspected cabinet. Yeah, that probably they sums it up. Behind a joke. Now let's make sure you have a strong punchline joke. Now we come. Now we come. Now we come. Was that a goblin? Like, I, I really can't tell if this was, like, some deformed old man or an actual goblin training the goblin slayer. Oh, God, it went full-on fairy tale if they actually played as a goblin. Oh, God, I just realized. Because of the few little utterances, the, I'm assuming child, chibi slayer. Let's go with chibi slayer is. In the abridged especially, this is actually a thing now. He's... Forcing his voice to sound like his teacher? Antagonist? Asshole kidnapper? I don't know. This is one of the reasons I probably should have watched the show. But yeah, because he made those few little utterances and it sounded like a normal little kid human voice, not the Goblin Slayer. Okay, I realize I shouldn't do that. That also means he's forcing it. He's actually forcing it. I just I'll... I want to see everyone's face if he starts talking normally as, like, super suave and composed and perfect diction. And no one's going to believe it. Someone's like, who are you? Who are you? Actually, that would make it for a perfect disguise. He takes off his helmet and talks normally. No one would ever be able to find out. Oh, God, he's Christian Bailing it. He's Batman Chris Christian Bale. I mean, everyone made the joke about the voice, but now it's legit. It's legit. I cannot speak today. It's legitimately actually what's happening. Oh my god. It's the ascendant meme. Oh my. Priestess scored. I can't hear a word she's saying. No. Uh uh. I just heard no and uh uh. Finally awake, I see. You had us scared for a bit, Goblin Slayer. Luckily, I was here for you. I was able to ask Iona. I gotta say, I love her art every time. To bring you back from the dead. All it took was a night of rest together. So, how was it? 
Would that mean part of the time me. she was sleeping with the corpses? Is she okay? Oh, her role was minimal. The ritual required a 25,000 gold piece diamond, which the church provided. My casting services, which are always free for you. And the presence of a virgin. Sadly, I was not able to fill the last requirement. Oh my. It happened when I was quite young. Not much older than her. I was alone. The goblins. You know what they're like. I cried out, asking for someone, anyone, to save me. Oh. Oh, they're but keeping no that the same. Came. Gods, it's pathetic, isn't it? Someone like me, wielding the power of a god. Limitless riches at my disposal. Legions of adoring fans. And these terrors still haunt me. I still cry out at night, terrified to relive that day. Still crying out for a hero. Goblin Slayer, if I called out to you, screaming in the night, would you come running? Um, I... Just think about... She wasn't talking about goblins, was she? <laughs> oh, oh my. It's like, um, I, I know they're leading it up to talking about the goblins, but no, um, she's playing him. She's legitimately playing him perfectly. I always was worried about goblins, and if they're ever there. And then she switches to, if I'm ever screaming out your name at night, will you come? Oh my god! You lady, I mean, it's the goblins there. He's fixated on goblins, and you're playing him perfectly. I am actually really impressed right now with the writing behind this abridged, because that is a genius level of dickish they're displaying. Because on the one hand, it's completely, actually pretty close to canon. But on the other hand, they're basically leading into her being massively thirsty. At the same time, also saying it in words that literally are his focusing point. He's basically getting the goblin laser pointer and he's the cat fixated on. And she's completely misleading him. To a different cat. <clears throat> what? Wow. Also, is anyone else having trouble hearing her? Like, I just keep having to turn up the volume. Is it just me? It might just be me. Got it. It really helped to fall asleep by your side. <laughs> Hello, priestess. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the ritual worked. Thank you. He's talking less gravelly. Okay? Any open wounds? Internal bleeding? Boo-boos of any size? It's fine. I'm fine. Uh, are you sure? You seem quieter than usual. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the same old good old goblin slayer! What? And I slay goblins! It's the helmet? <laughs> well, fifth door's the charm. Hey! I was right. There's Goblin Slayer. You two he done crazier with the helmet on. together yet? I know about tree resurrection. I know what goes down. I was determined to eat your meat as a show of respect to maintain lizardfolk tradition. But I was drugged with sleepy cheese and chained to the floor. <laughs> oh god, I cheese. You would have made an excellent skeletal warrior, Goblin Slayer. Are you sure you don't want to reconsider Oh, death? he can take other people? Other goblins? I have no time to die. How's Goblin Slayer Jr.? My boy? My baby boy? My birdie baby boy? I fed him a shit ton of seeds and that bird's never been fatter. Also, Jesus oh God. gave an egg, so you're a grandpa now. Sweet. Speaking of good news, did you hear? The Why hero he defeated the demon scene. lord. He was like, no, please don't slay me. And the hero was like, oh, no. And cut him up into a million billion pieces. Oh, they're acknowledging <laughs> the demon it lord. It seems this hero. fulfills our obligations to our clans. Wow. Hooray, we're out of a job. Homeless again. Mm. Oh, the parties we'll be having in the Five Kings Mountains will be wild enough to level the Emperor's Peak. I'm looking forward to getting blitzed as a hero. It'll be a nice change of pace from getting blitzed as, you know, some dude. I hope they'll have cheese. <laughs> I can't disagree with him. Cheese is awesome. Oh, you're not invited. <laughs> oh. Um, I think you're all forgetting about something. There's still goblins Goblin? in these sewers that need killing. Oh, and yeah, there's a so goblin loud. slayer in this room that needs to do that killing. <laughs> about that. Uh... What? No time to waste. I already said, ah. They're already dead, aren't this they? This is an intervention. Intervention? What? I don't need no negative levels. Seriously, why no. is he just randomly CGI in some scenes? You literally died. It's 
time to stop. We know we can't stop you for long, so take a day. Rest up. I don't wanna! I don't wanna! Take the helmet off him, he's crazier wanna. with it on. Goblin Slayer, we don't have to slay goblins. We can do other things. Would fixing up your armor make you feel better? No, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. I wonder we'll if they're just gonna with his helmet off. <laughs> oh, no, God. With that lip, no attitude, Mr. Man, or I'm She's not going just... out for treats later. Like oh my treats. God, she's talking to him like a dog. Bye. And it's working. Are you kidding me? This chain shirt has a hole in it. It's supposed to have lots of holes. It's. It's chain. Wow, I sure do love that kind of attitude in my store. You sure do know more than me. You want me to fix it or what? Though, I've been on both I sides of that it, conversation. Maybe you're better off getting entirely new armor instead. Uh, you know, we do fittings free of charge. You should probably just try and Wait, call him a goblin. Uh, uh, oh, you do fittings? Perfect! He's still Wait, wearing the helmet. The Is that sure? I mean, a shirt? Saves time! Now get to it! Oh, yeah, because they make tons of fate references in the series. No, don't jump over the counter. What are you doing? You no, can't measure oh the God, shit out of me. I'll lay over there. Don't me. Me. Give me my free no, Oh, my God. Hey, kids. Who wants to taste some ice cream? That is the kind of person you don't like kids near. I feel sorry to whoever voiced it, but you have the voice that says kids should run from you. They're screaming like, I, oh, ice yeah. Scream? Do they like scream at ice and eat it? If that's how they do it, you'd be a pro. Why would you say that? Come <laughs> on, Goblin Slayer, let's go. Perfect time. He's into you. You're acting like a child. Like those goblin sized adults. I don't know if he's using the one who's childish here. That's what I said. Well, I am only 15. Oh, so yeah. I'm gonna go get some. <laughs> he's only 15. What the fuck? Give me one with two scoops and sprinkles and a cherry and a bowl. I'm gonna eat that bowl. Way past chill. Damn, Let that me tell looks good. you guys the story of ice cream. No. There once was a scientist. What? I said no. And after that scientist was imprisoned for heresy, we used his heretical ice box to delight the children of the world. Uh, Would you like to hear? Oh, okay, that did not go like I expected. Please, no. You'll make me resort to violence. Make Yo, him resort to violence. Oh, this is a story all about. Really? <laughs> You just well sniffed it. Wouldn't stop rapping. Disgusting. I, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Goblin Slayer. How's you're branching out to new and exciting hobbies. Like killing annoying people? Eh, I don't think it's gonna stick. I You'll have plenty of targets, priestess. more than goblins, even. The goblins call to me. What about you? Oh, um, you know, adventuring, questing, That does actually look like good yada, ice cream. Yada, yada, yada? You sure that's everything? I, I don't know. Well... Okay, it's kind of pathetic, but I've been terrified of losing you. Ever since the first day we met, I've been afraid to go out adventuring without you. I don't know where I'd be if you weren't there to save me. What do you mean? I know where I'd be if it wasn't for you. Dead. Dead. Blood oh, actually what he said. Sewer, killed by a 20-foot tall goblin. Probably how he wants to go out. Pick me dry, and I'd be carrying our gear as a skeleton page. But you, you're resourceful, determined. You'd be fine without me. No, I wouldn't. If no, she probably wouldn't along yet. Along that day, I don't know what would have happened to me. Everyone has dark moments where they need help. I helped you once when you really needed it, but you're not helpless. What would make you say something? Also, you literally just well, brought him back from the, the dead. Sword so. Sword maiden and I were talking. And... Sword maiden? Who? Oh wait, I remember. My braid is still wired after I died. It once when I was a child. My big sister told me that the ground was covered in invisible lava. I stayed up in the trees like a monkey for weeks on end. People in the village made fun of me, called me the Monkey Kid. Oh, look at the freaky Monkey Kid! Oh, he I was weird before the Goblin attack. Like but in the end of the day, the joke was on them. A nearby volcano erupted and flooded the village. It'd be real poetic if they hadn't been killed two weeks earlier by a band of filthy goblins. Oh, oh God, the memories! I just wanted to come for you, priestess, but the memories, they're coming back! Everything I love, die! Oh, God. Except for You're not good at comforting people. Anyways, I'd appreciate if you keep these details private. I haven't shared them with anyone else before. How's that ice cream, by the way? And she's traumatized. Wow, are you okay? What is it, Lava? I trained my whole life for this moment! <laughs> Self-induced brain freeze Did to escape. the cardboard bowl? <laughs> 
lot, Goblin Slayer. Do you want to go somewhere and talk about it, or...? You're not going anywhere. What? Not till I give you a piece of my mind. You have any idea how long of a carriage ride it is to get here? Just to deliver some flour? The witch could have cast teleport. It's how we used to get around. Could you have? Sure, but you're not worth the spell slot. Rude. Dick. Oh, me for a silver egg quest. You got any trolls or dire barracudas you want me to slay while I'm here? Nope. Dire Just barracuda. Me oh god. Flower. <laughs> you're worth me a dire manatee. Love me some flower. All right, whack job. Why did he want Your flower? money. I am curious though. Could you not buy flour here? How much more I gotta pay you to mind your own business? That'll be a second silver ranked fee. Thank you very much. Oh god, much. they actually take Done. payment for I it. Get out of my water town. Back at it again. Why did he want flour? Sewers, killing some goblins. Well, it seems like you're back to tip top shape, Goblin Slayer. Yeah. Goblin Slaying does kind of do it for him. Four daggers and a. A bag of flour? Why are you carrying that? Are you gonna make a cake for the goblins? Don't address it. He's of the goblins, to maybe. Keep it a secret. Yeah, get your grubby elf ears off my bee's knees. As far as you're concerned, mm -hmm. my sack doesn't exist. Lizard priest, are we almost there? Oi! Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, hold on. I got fire. You still there? Yeah. What the what is that? A floating eye. I mentioned it earlier. I was like, I. You're welcome. Wait, could this be a beholder? Ah, uh, shit. Looks like we might be able to slay some big bad evil thing after all. Nope. I don't know. Does it kind of not look all there to you? Smell your Mikado Dream Man on your mouth. I can read his lips. I don't know, guys. Oh, oh. Oh my god, that's adorable! Note the central it's so eye. Stupid. The pupil moves over the veins on the side. The eye doesn't rotate within a socket, but rather the pupil itself can move freely of the organ. Oh, is that a clue to how we can beat it? No, it's just gross and weird. It is actually very hey, gross. Nasty. Perhaps the beast is friendly. Take this rock as an offering of friendship. None can possibly resist the siren song of rock. We've got this in the bag. I want to make a joke about it, but... Fuck you, Rock! Centuries of dwarven heritage spat upon! I I this. Fucking kill me! Fuck you! Do we even have to be here? It's not even our job to kill this guy. You know what? You're right, Priestess! I guess we can just go around. Oh, no. We're taking this thing out. Tell me Beholder comes with you. I kind of want them to edit it out just so that they don't find it. killed the Demon Lord, but we can kill this guy. Look, I know it's not the same, but please just let me have this. Fine. If you wish to use this on He actually gave into it. But I guess it's time to bake us a cake. I'm just going to pretend that what you said made sense and start shooting at it. Yeah. Your disintegration rays are gonna need to be a lot faster than that if you want to turn me to death. To be fair, it just has to move its eyes, so it could actually. There, there, big guy. Time for you to enter the deep slumber. Are those verbal? Yeah. Bob saying it's sacred. Isn't this thing supposed to be able to cancel magic? I, I shouldn't be able to do that. Oh my God! I love how he's calling out. They're playing shit with me. This is so embarrassing. I should log. Oh, oh! Did they just edit in the uh, fake fire? Oh my god! Wouldn't salt be worse? What are you doing? Stop kicking up dust and help! I get it. You're using the flower as a smoke screen to blind it. Both wrong. Yeah, run! Run for your lives! Run in, of course. Go, we're bone on coal. Elf. Hit one of its a eyes. bone daddy Brace even cast protection make sure you don't mess up but we're all experiencing the worst pain imaginable okay to be fair you already died Your once so it's totally imaginable girl. you know i need some protection right about now so remember when these incantations just... used to sound like poems gum slayer from the past remembers there's a ah! did you just say gum slayer i just oh my boom. god i just I love when so she casts spells. It's so funny. My skeletal uncle, it's like she's flirting or... with the god. Oh, yeah. A dust explosion. 
That's actually a thing. I mean, it works better with sawdust than flour, but. Boom. There was no way we could have anticipated that that was your plan. Oh, my skunkle melted to the stone floor. You guys got Also, those are very skunkle. durable pews. Goblin Slayer, would you like to die again? I could use them bones. Are we even That's sure cool. that was a beholder? Because killing a beholder is supposed to be cool. Like, a whole adventure kind of I mean, you got an entire explosion out of it. Challenge? That, that was supposed to be hard? <sighs> Whatever. To be fair, he did that just was a gazer throw a sack at, at best. Unless it's a beholder that came from a bullshit dimension where everything sucks. Now, a big floating goblin. That would be a challenge. A floating goblin? It didn't goblin? even use all ten of its eye beams. There were still nine more. <gasps> maybe it's got good treasure. Was it protecting something cool? A, a mirror. mirror. But maybe behind but did it get damaged the by mirror, the fire? there's some artifacts or... Just give up. There's nothing cool here. I don't know. This mirror seems pretty neat to me. You're cool, right, Mr. Mirror? Ew, gross. It feels like gelatin. What was that? Ah! that that's Gate! Again! I even the mirror has Gate? A permanent Gate? Does everyone <laughs> here know Gate but me? This mirror... Its make is either ancient or elven. It's probably the only one of its kind in the world. Break it. Sick! Cool mirror! We gotta destroy it! Come on, man! Don't use that tone with me, elf! <laughs> this mirror's been compromised! Goblinated! They use it to teleport around! Like I told you earlier! The only thing Couldn't you use that to find them and kill them? It's a teleporting goblin! Hey guys! Speaking of goblins! I think I hear goblins. Perhaps they will yeah. be friendly. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, they're goblins. I forgot. They must meet a chiseless fate. That's <laughs> dead in case fate. I wasn't clear. I'm so stealing that line. So this time we're going to fight them together, right? Of course. I studied all their tactics in the last encounter. They I have know tactics? the only way we get through this is by working together as a team. Wow, Goblin Slayer. Looks like you really grew as a person. And when we kill all the goblins together, we can spit on their corpses and laugh at them together. I like mean, to be fair, survival does give you perks. Man. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh. Goblin Slayer? Batman? I feel like it's a Guilty Gear reference for some reason. I don't think it is. Hmm. Seriously though, can someone just mention the fact that these pews survived? The explosion okay, and the beholder lava. It's a little more and there's complicated than I did dust it up. Make sure to pay attention. Hit Seriously. Hit what are they Double made of? Back. Got all that? Hit them with a puce. Yeah, I think I get the gist. Okay, now do that till they all die. Sounds good to me. I cast rock. It's super effective. He's actually just hit it throwing rock. Also, it's a Hawkeye fight. What the? Did they just? Did she just? Oh my God! They did that face. Uh, guys, he's okay, I think. The big goblin is back. Hey, old one eye. So we meet again. You're probably just a boy. You didn't kill me when you had the chance. And if you're not, you will be. As much as I'm itchy for a rematch, Tiny, <laughs> I'd rather make tiny. sure to put you down for good. So, Lucifer, please go. Right. I call upon the strength of those what? who came before me, whose flesh bolsters my own. What? Let me your mighty strength! Is he boning the wall? Uh, okay, uh, even with the strength of my ancestors, this is still really heavy. I can help! She can? I love how he's just acknowledging. Oh. oh. Thank you so much. This is totally helping. <laughs> uh, does anyone else want to help? Just <laughs> me? The elf. Okay. Now it's my turn to oh do my Oh my god, thing. I love it. Now He's literally part of the weakest person there. Is he trying to be nice at the same time? Yeah. Oh god, I, I love how sassy they made him, but also nice because he didn't want to say it. Uh, I found a new friend to play with. Okay, big boy, your teamwork versus ours. They have teamwork. <laughs> nope, barely not. Uh, first rule of teamwork is not to kill your friends. Are you new to this? Yeah. <laughs> also, One the big guy might have more, more goblin kills than course. goblin slayer. Boom. And I couldn't have done it without you. 
Second cousin Jim Bob, who I summoned earlier when nobody was watching. Woo! Lizard Priest said any more help down here. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She's so hyped about being told to get out of the way. Does that mean Woo. you'll tell me your fucking plan before we do it for once? They have a plan. The mirror towards the sky to get our freedom. No, I, I guess you won't. You're just fucking crazy. Yes, Tore yes, he is. I'm you should have known just that. Just drunk enough to deal with this bullshit. <laughs> just shoot them up in the air. Do it. Teamwork. Whatever. I'll wait for the signal. I guess. There's a signal. Goblin Slayer, we gotta go now. Okay, one sec. <laughs> Ooh, okay, he probably did those. Do your thing! Right! Oh, holy light is happening when it's turning holy light! Oh, I'm guessing that's the signal, because no one told me anything! Stone <laughs> call! Ooh. Oh, look, rocks fall, everybody dies. Boom. Oh, good, they didn't end it there. <coughs> Come on, what's up there? <sighs> Finally! Oh, yeah. God, her voice. I don't want to see another rock ever again. I'll assume you're delirious from combat. Or maybe you just have no taste. <laughs> Thanks to the awesome. cheese god that is mirrored to call the rubble. Wouldn't want to be the person on the other side. Wasn't it a bunch of goblins, goblins in the mirror? Yeah, they probably did. Goblin Slayer, what you did there? Was the coolest thing ever. Couldn't they just throw that thing? Into the Ooh, what if they only took half of someone? Work. You mean our teamwork? Yes, my teamwork. Yours got me killed. Oh. Oh, shut up. Oh, that's bad. Oh, ah! oh no, my ass! All oh, the potions in my ass exploded! Oh! This is bleeding! Oh! That makes Your two goblin slayer ass. kills for the elf. Um, I'm out of spells. I can't heal that. Oh, he'll be fine. I think the elf has owned the goblins there more than well, anyone else. Thanks for bringing me back from the dead a second time. Not a problem. Though we are beginning to run out of priceless gems, Goblin Slayer. Wait, second the time? The one we have left is you. Second time? Oh my god, that elf. She's more successful at killing Goblin Slayer than the goblins are. That was a sword maiden joke. I know you're not a diamond. Cool. I'll work on dying less, I guess. So, have friendly you fire next time. In the sewers, or will you be returning? That better be another one of your sword maiden jokes. Whatever do you mean? I've known something was fishy the moment I stepped into town, and it wasn't the fish. Oh, the ice screams, men. He was kind of fishy though. Goblins. Exactly. That's why I called you. Hold up there, sword missy, ma'am. Sword, ma'am. Sir, goblins don't assassinate women indiscriminately. Their prey wouldn't be so lucky as to bleed out in the sewers. When you told me your act like girls' bodies were found outside a goblin's den, I had my suspicions. Oh. But it only got worse from He's there. using logic? Goblins with ships, goblins with magical mirrors, goblins with pirate accents. This colony was trained. Yeah, the pirate by accent other, was kind of funny. More intelligent humanoids. But someone got rid of those humanoids. And too well. Clean up their tracks. But who would be powerful and knowledgeable enough to take out a small army without anyone ever knowing? Huh? Huh? You He's know, mad because she stole I the kills. probably should have realized the world's foremost goblin expert would have noticed something like that. I usually don't take things. But thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> I may have uh, fibbed about how big a threat the goblins were. There was a cult, one that worshipped the demon lord. They used the mirror and trained the goblins to be their muscle, sacrificing the girls for the glory of the demon lord. The thing is, I may have also... Use a trained giant crocodile systematically destroy the cult down to its foundations and hit the evidence where I can notice? Well, I did notice! Oh, Linda? He noticed? She's not trained. Who's Linda? What the fuck? The dire crocodile? She's my familiar? I can see through her eyes and control oh. her body whenever I want. I feel all the same stuff she feels. It's why I take so many baths. Because, you know, these <gasps> are gross. Oh! She can feel what she feels. She leaves her dire crocodile familiar who she feels 
in the sewer? Oh, gosh, you can... T oh! Oh, oh, God! Oh, why would you do that? Oh, 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 my God! I, I don't... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, you be tasting sewage constantly! Oh! Oh, that is... Oh, I don't want to think about this. I don't want to think about this. Yeah. Oh, oh so I need a haircut okay, so bad. Okay, that's, that's something else. Yeah. How come priests know it's your favorite bird, but doesn't know you pilot a crocodile? One never can be too careful with information like that. The cult certainly didn't see it coming. So, did you, like, eat him? As the crocodile? Wait, did you charge at us in the sewers? Why did you attack the goblins on the ship if you want us to kill them? Why are you like this? She's okay, weird. In order, one, no, I don't eat people. Two, I got excited when I saw you and decided it was a good time for a sword maiden prank. And, uh... Go on. Three, I passed out when I saw the goblins and... Linda took over. <laughs> what? Goblins? What? Okay, I can do this. I got this. Oh, I can't do this. I don't got this. I, I don't got... I don't got this. Oh, yeah. PTSD is a bitch. I told you before about that time long ago with the goblins. I've been terrified of them ever since. Even with all this Also, the only time she can see is through her familiar. Money, I can't get the one thing I truly want. Peace. I want to go to sleep once and not relive that day. I just want to feel safe. And I think you... I think you could make me feel safe, Goblin Slayer. Ah. Uh, hmm. Pathetic. A waste of my time. You could turn into a cult slaying kaiju monstrosity. And you ask for my help? I do my job for the love of killing goblins, sure. But that's not the only reason. Oh? I do it because somewhere out there, a nameless village no one will remember, might get burnt to the ground if someone doesn't step in and kill some filthy goblins before they attack. So that a family with Shit, a name he's actually no thought one this will remember gets to see another day with their loved ones. You have unlimited resources. You could have asked anyone in the world for help. You have the god of justice on speed dial. And you're trying to guilt trip me to live with you? If I'm not out there killing goblins, some innocent girl might suffer the same fate as you. Or worse. Which is literally what almost happened to Priestess, yeah. Your sword maiden, for your own selfish reasons. I can't believe Priestess looks up to you. Goblin Slayer, wait! Oh, damn! I'm sorry! Please! Tell you what, when there are no more goblins left to kill, I'll kill the ones in your dreams. Till then, be someone the priestess can look up to. She can become so much more than this. Damn. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's brutal. You just batman it, too. Christian Bale reference, probably. Yeah! I see why you look up the sword maiden, priestess. She said she's gonna invent a spell that teleports me to her dreams to kill dream goblins. Apparently there's a lot My of God, goblins really? in there. I don't know. That doesn't sound like a thing. That's probably not real Goblin Slayer. Nope, that's a thing. Dream travel. Six level spell. Look what? it up. I am quite what? excited to return to Droon, my homeland. It's actually Once a thing? My family passed away in a plague I narrowly avoided in coming here. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Lizard Priest. He Are probably just missed out getting yeah, on the bones. Yeah, this is cause for much celebration. Bones. I can collect their bones Called it. and summon them for future adventures. I must make haste, though, if I wish God, that's creepy as hell when you think about it. Oh. You're What's with the canary box? That's still super evil. I'm opting out of this conversation. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to get home either. The dwarves make the only kind of beer that can actually get me drunk. Plus, wait, does that mean he's been sober? Explosive agent. So that's cool too. Anyway, what about the rest of you? I think I might stick around town for a bit before heading home. I know the demon lord is dead, but that means his minions are prime quest material. I'm gonna get some of that action. Yeah, when no, I have downtime in between killing goblins, I'm gonna volunteer at the guild. I wanna get close to guild girl and learn her sass secrets. I'm really shy now, but in time, I'm gonna bring someone so bad that another person in the background will say, Oh no, she didn't! Oh god, really? Okay, cool. That's adorable. So stuff going on. 
Goblin Slayer, if you ever want to talk about what you told me earlier, I... Oh, did you hear? The hero killed the Demon Lord. Yeah, yeah, we know. Thanks. Uh, it's just really big news to me is all. <laughs> Fuck me for trying to be part of the conversation, though, am I right? Yes. I'm losing a star for this shit. Yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the sass on that one. Probably just slaying more goblins. I guess though, right? Oh no, she did there's goblins. I got no time to die. Oops, I died twice. Jeez, are to be you fair, like one was you. Time, even when we're not around. I'm sure Goblin Slayer is a deep, multifaceted individual. No. Myself. Anyway, who's got more cheese? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's exactly as multifaceted as you are. <laughs> Well, leave. No more goblin quests. Then. Fuck. I guess I'll just go home. Hey, folks. And that was episode five of Oh My God, What the Hell Was That Ending? Yes, I'm calling this Oh My God, What the Hell Was That Ending at this point? Because this is the second episode in the row where. They decided, and by they, I mean the Schmuck Squad in general, decided, you know what? We should probably end on something that's going to make you go, what the fuck? WTF? I think we might be watching something serious. What the hell? I, I mean, I know they're going into his memories there, but like just for some reason, every time I see that effect of like the squibble, scribble, sclabble, I don't know, some random word that sounds like squibble on the eyes, it just, it freaks me out a bit. And he's freaking out about his I'm pretty sure that's his mom and sister who he mentioned told him it was lava. And the, yeah, the town got eaten by lava. It would be horrible and kind of ironic if they weren't already killed by goblins, which is apparently a thing in this one. I like how this exact episode played up the fact that Goblin Slayer is actually incredibly intelligent, highly noticeable. He realizes what's going on. He reads into people's plans. He can actually understand quite a lot of what's going on. Let's just say he basically has a very high intelligence and wisdom stat. He just acts like an idiot. Because he completely unraveled Sword Maiden's plan, everything she was doing, her basic motivations. The fact that, yeah, she was playing him and doing it because she could. Because she wanted to feel better about herself, even though she could have done so much else about it, because it's not even wrong. Also, love Sword Maiden's portrayal altogether on this. The fact that she then walked into literally the harshest scene in the entire bridge so far. And there was literally no fighting in it. Yeah, I'm not going to be... I'm not even going to lie about this one. That was the most brutal thing I've seen Goblin Slayer do in the original, which I haven't seen, so it counts. And any abridged. That takedown of her was, um... Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah. I mean, I'm actually a little impressed that they could write that. That whoever wrote that scene, because I'm assuming there's multiple people writing the abridged. I need to figure that out, actually. Just probably ask Grimjack or something. Or maybe uh, Chasers. I'll ask someone. But whoever wrote that exact scene with that takedown of Sword Priestess, that was beautiful. I loved it. It was well-written, well-acted, great background music to make it work. And it was handled beautifully. This is kind of like the moment from Jaws where you realize in the very first movie, the most exciting part of the most gripping and the most emotional isn't the freaking shark. It's when they're just sitting at the table on the boat and they're talking about, you know, past experiences and all the really fucked up shit they saw. And now they're here. And that's like the high point of the movie. And then you get to this movie, or I, I guess abridged, this abridged, and that moment taking down Priestess Sorry, not priestess. Hi, priest, sword, priest, sword maiden. I can speak. And that is literally, I think that was my favorite part. Don't get me wrong. Priestess steals the show because she's such a freaking cinnamon bun of awesomeness. Oh my God. Even when she's like, I want to get to know Gil girl and then be sassy and then we'll get so sassy. So I'll be like, oh no, she didn't in the background. I was like, oh my God, that's adorable. And you're so freaking cute and precious. And oh my God. Ah. Yeah. That, that literally is amazing. I, I just really love this episode. It had everything. It had the fighting. It had the dramatic reveals. It had the humor. It had Priestess being amazing and cute and sassy and just stealing the show. 
apparently the High Elf has succeeded in doing what most goblins have failed at and killing Goblin Slayer easily. I love that that's actually just a thing they keep mentioning. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I just really love this one. This was a great show. On one technical issue, I was having a lot of trouble hearing Sword Maiden... I was going to say Sword Priestess again, really me? Sword Maiden speak when she first made her intro in the beginning of the episode... It was just so much quieter compared to the rest of the video that it was a bit difficult and I had to repeatedly adjust my audio. That said, it didn't seem like a problem in the second half, so I had no issues with it. But yeah, overall, if that's like the only complaint I got, I'm completely okay with this. This was really good. I enjoyed all of it. And God, Priestess of Freaking Cinnamon Roll. Is it Cinnamon Roll or Cinnamon Bun? I don't know. Both sound adorable, though. Uh, if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Make sure to hit it up. And if you really like watching these kind of breakdowns and reviews after the videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button too, because I enjoy doing this. It's what I do for fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.